Hi everyone, this is Adam from ToonbiteReviews.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to remove the DRM from songs off Rhapsody. As many of you may know, Rhapsody has a subscription plan which allows you to uh, download as many songs as you like from the entire catalog, all for $15 a month. The downside is that all the songs have DRM on them, so they will expire after about a month or so. But that's not a problem with TuneByte because with TuneByte you can remove the DRM from the songs and listen to them as many times as we like. So the first step is to download songs from Rhapsody. As you can see uh, I've already done that. I've downloaded the entire album. One thing is I always forget where the songs are stored so you can actually right click. Click on show track location to figure out where the songs are stored. So it's in Rhapsody, Users, My User under My Music. So I'm going to remember that and use that as we switch back to TuneByte right now. Okay, to remove the DRM from songs, under the Converter tab, you click on the plus files icon and you can either add a file or add a folder containing album of songs so we're gonna choose add folder this time and I'm going to choose the album I just downloaded in Rhapsody so that's under Rhapsody my Rhapsody username artist and the album so I'll just click OK and that automatically adds the album to the tune by queue to be processed Right now you can just press start and leave everything on the default settings. Toomba will start processing the songs and removing the DRM. We can go over some of the settings right now. The first setting is DRM mode. Uh, you can choose between high speed and high quality. I always think high quality is more of an issue so I, I leave it on that. And you also have the option to shut down the PC when you're finished. I usually check this option when I have a large batch of songs of say 200 and I leave my computer on overnight. And the next option is uh, search cover for album information, cover art, things like that and lyrics as well. So it's all that good stuff. I usually leave this checked in. Okay, the fourth option you get to choose is target folder where the um, processed songs, the DRM free songs are stored. I'm just going to leave that on the default folder. Lastly, get the option to choose a type of output file that TuneByte outputs to. As you can see here, you have uh, quite a few options of common file types. I'm just going to leave it on the default MP3 WMV option and click start. Okay. All right. As you can see, TuneBud has started to process the songs in the queue to remove the DRM from the songs. It'll probably take um close to a minute per song, so it'll probably take around 11 minutes to, to process and remove the DRM from this entire album. So I'll pause the video from here, I'll let it finish, and I'll come back in a few minutes, okay? Hi guys, uh, I'm just jumping in here to show you how uh, the feature in TuneByte. Notice that it's processing actually all 11 songs right now at the same time. The amount of songs that TuneByte can process depends on how fast your computer is. I'm using a, a computer with a 2.2 dual core Intel processor and 4 gigabytes of RAM so it's, it's a fairly decent computer so it's fast enough to process all 11 songs all at once. Okay. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, as you can see, 
Most of the songs are, have been processed and have ended up on the right hand window right here. All the songs that were in the queue here are gone. So now all these songs on the right hand side have been processed and are DRM free. Okay, so that's about it. That's how you remove DRM protection from songs taken off Rhapsody. You can do the same thing with songs from any subscription website like Napster or, or other ones. The process is more or less the same. So that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to find out more information about ToonBite, you can visit ToonBiteReviews.com. If you want to buy ToonBite 8.0 directly from Audios, you can click on the link in the comment section to purchase it directly from Audios. That's it. Thanks, guys. See you later.